speak. We all know. Looking forward to it. I am. I'm my teammates. I'm pretty sure they is. I'm pretty sure they want to get some give back. And, you know, we look forward to the tough challenge. Are you expecting any of that? Uh, you know, just two competitive guys. I'm pretty sure I carry over. You know, that's, what, that's what the sports, that's what our fans, that's what they want, that's what they need. And I think it's going to, uh, you know, spice some things up and make it a lot of fun. How different is this team, though, than the one you faced a year ago? Obviously, uh, more well coached, uh, play together, more uh, play five out, guys can shoot it. So, you know, we've we just, we been paying attention to details our last couple of days of practice, and we got the formula to uh, go out there and, you know, compete. I mean, I'm trying to be in top of my shape. If I'm going to play the way I play, if I'm going to pick up guys for the court, uh, you know, I, I pride myself of coming in and being in top of my shape. Uh, that's what I'm going to have to take. I'll be fine. You guys went to a grueling seven game series against them last year. Um, now you don't have home court advantage, so how much is it imperative that you steal a game or two on the road? Uh, these first two are going to be important. They're going to look to try to set the tone at home, uh, playing in front of their home crowd. You know, we got to be. Uh, Got to be tougher on the road or facing them, uh, the number one seed in the East. Uh, you know, it's not going to be easy, but we got to come in and, uh, we gotta, like I said, we got the formula, we, we got things that we know we want to do, so we just got to go out there and play. How do you contain Giannis? Uh, you know, just try to make him see five guys on defense low, load up, and, you know, arms, arms, arms long, and, you know, just try to make it tough for him. He, he's a very great athlete, very great player. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's more smarter than last year. We got a lot of a lot of chances to take some charges on and stuff like that. The challenge your depth against their depth. Is that something you guys take personally? Yeah, I think so. that's something that we're gonna uh, look forward to for, for the rest of this way for, you know, for the rest of our time playing. Uh, you know, we got a lot of guys that can really really can play. So, you know, coach switched up the lineup a little bit, but you know we, we've been out there. Everybody been playing with one another, so we figure it out when we get out there on the court. Oh, Bledsoe has said that he used that series last year as sort of motivation for this year. He keeps it moves him on to having a better year. Do you, do you look forward to that match up? Is that something that Yeah, I said it earlier. I was, uh, can't wait for it. It should be a lot of fun. I'm not going to speak too much on it. Uh, you know, I don't, don't want to over talk it, but I'm not focused on me and him. It's about the, you know, it's about uh, us versus the Bucks. And, we're gonna take care of business. As far as, like I said, me and him, we two competitors, so no matter if we get cool outside the lines, whatever happened in the summer, we see each other, whatever. We get in between the lines, we two guys that want to win for our team, so it's gonna be there. The bad blood gonna be there. Did uh, Drew Bledsoe say that he's gonna be at game three or four at all three? I don't know, let me text him today when I get home. <laughs> what are the chances of you wearing a uh, Bledsoe jersey in Milwaukee? No, no chance. No, I said we've been switching up the lineup all year, so it's just like hard for guys to get in the rhythm. Not, not one, I wouldn't say hard, but you know, guys been playing with different guys. Sorry, keep me in the microphone. Guys been playing with different guys, so we're just trying to trying to uh, figure it out and play it. But no matter what your lineup is, we got to try to contain Giannis and we got to load up on defense. When you and Kyrie are on the floor together, what, is, what are you trying to do? Uh, you know, just obviously give them, let them get off the ball a little bit more, you know, try to be the primary ball handler. So we can get him shots, uh, you know, coming off a lot of down screens, you know, just have him, you know, have a little break. I feel like he got the ball a lot when he's out there on the court when I'm not out there. You know, we both interchange where we can play together and, you know, if I'm, if I'm about to got a rebound, if I don't get the rebound, I can push it. If he rebound, he can push it and we can just play off one another. So I think that's good, especially a scorer like him that can play off the ball and on the ball. Are you guys embracing sort of the uh, underdog role and mentality for the series that maybe because they have the best record in the NBA that uh, nobody's picking you? I mean, we, we don't really pay attention to underdogs. I mean, I feel like we was second seed last year. Yep. And they was the seven. Yeah. We was underdogs last year, I feel like. Guys was losing on purpose just to play us. So that don't mean nothing, especially in the playoffs. There's going to be two teams that want it. That, that's, that's what really matters, two teams that fight. You know, it don't matter about what, what people think outside us playing about the underdogs. And that shit. Do you feel the need to force them into a half-court game or try to slow them down? Definitely, definitely. We know they're very effective when they when they run in and get on transition. So trying to make them play against uh, our set defense and you know load up, like I said, make it tough. And Giannis get that ball and push, and he make it tough on tough on defense. So we got to load up and make them see bodies and make it tough. Did you guys have to hit 24 threes? 
25. Thank you.